get them out. Cut them out. Cut them out, you're like, yeah. You actually deserve to be surrounded by the most magical people. Oh, I like you. Mm. <laughs> It's Mia and today I'm joined with my best friend Lucy. Hello. <laughs> I'll have her YouTube channel linked down below. She also does amazing videos. Today we are doing a video about tips for increasing positivity and happiness. So I feel like we both have like quite a positive outlook on the world. Yeah. Oh definitely. Definitely. <laughs> All of these tips are going to be fairly light-hearted, although effective for us yes. but if you think that you'd need any help further than these sort of points then please seek professional help and I'll have a link of resources in the description of where you can get that and if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel down below and let's just get started so I feel like doing stuff that makes your inner child come to life and like smile at you so these are things like that you would love to do as a child but that kind of gets scraped out of you when you grow up because you you feel like you're too old to do it or like society tells you that it's like childish to do yeah or we just like get less creative as yeah. we grow up i think and we all get just like bogged down in like making money doing jobs like politics the shit that the world throws at us when we get older but it's so important to return to those practices that we had when we were younger because i feel like that like absolves a lot of like childhood trauma that we probably all have and it lets us kind of like breathe a lot of like space and happiness into that area of ourselves. Some ideas we had are any sort of creative work such as like painting, artwork. I have actually been painting my wrapping paper for Christmas which is so fun. Yeah. Like I would never really get out a piece of paper and just paint something random. But I just wrapped all my Christmas presents in brown paper and then painted like little stars on them. It was so fun. So, and like recently I bought myself like a colouring book and some pencils just because I like oh, I thought it would be like, you know when you're just like sitting around waiting for stuff. So like, say for example, I live in Paris so like I go on the train like back home when it's like the holidays and stuff. Like I have time on my hands where I'm like waiting. So I thought it'd be like a nice like little exercise I can do to like still my mind and like really calm myself down if I'm like ever stressed about anything or if I'm waiting. Also immersing yourself in nature and the outdoors. I think that this is such an amazing way to be happy because I think it, it's really hard to feel sad when you're surrounded by so much beauty and you're just out in, especially on a nice day, like in the sunlight, just hearing like the birds and looking at the flowers and stuff, I don't yeah. know. Sounds cringy but it is beautiful like, yeah. when you're out there. It makes you appreciate your own beauty as well when you can see the beauty of the outdoors because like you are so interconnected with everything in this life and so like when you look at nature like that is just a mirror reflecting all that beauty back at you and it's like you your internal world creates your external world and so if you can learn to appreciate like nature for what it is then maybe you can look inside and it will be just as beautiful. And then as well, singing and dancing. So like, I've created a playlist on my Spotify that I can just like sing Disney songs to, that I love dancing to, that I can just move my body to because it just feels so good. Like whenever I'm feeling shit, it's when I'm like still, when I'm on my phone, like when I'm just bogged down and hunched over. Like I feel like I need to explode my energy out and just like get moving and that automatically makes me feel more energized and more happy. Mm. I agree, like whenever I have a dance party to like Lizzo or Ariana or something, I just feel amazing, like I can take on the world. Like music has such like a massive effect on your own like vibrational frequency and so when you listen to good music, your frequency will automatically like go to that level. So if you're listening to sad music, you will feel sad, like that's what it's intended to do. But if you listen to good music that like that you can groove to, that you can sing to, like your you will automatically feel better because you're vibrating at a higher level. Yeah. And I think this links to the point that you have to choose to try and make yourself happy. Yeah. So like if you are listening to sad music and not making an effort like you are not gonna have a positive mindset and if you truly want to help yourself you have to put in the effort to make yourself more positive yeah. because it doesn't just come naturally to everyone like yeah. you, you do need to put in the work but if you do like do loads of these things or like watch some other videos get some other ideas 
like you will be able to do it yeah and i feel like it's easy to choose to wallow in your own self-pity mm -hmm. like it's so that's the easiest option that you can pick but to actually like choose what makes you happy and like choose lightness over darkness like that is that is where you'll find that life is pretty amazing mm -hmm. so the next point is i saw this amazing quote and it said that the key to happiness is being excited about little things and i just thought it was so true like so much of my happiness just comes from small things even things that i do every single day and I make it exciting for myself, like even picking a nice outfit or making a really nice breakfast or like waking up in the morning and just being excited for the day. And I think that if you can look forward to something, then that is really gonna make you more positive. I think it's about just making sure that every little thing you do in your routine is like the best that it can be so if you're having like the same boring breakfast every day make it something that you actually love and same with like picking an outfit like getting ready for the day if you don't have much to look forward to by yourself then make plans with people organize to go for a walk with a friend and another idea for being excited is saving up for something i think this is such a fun idea like having in your mind something that you want to work towards and like saving up the money and then buying it i just think that's really fun like not that we should place capitalism <laughs> yeah not that we should place all our value on material items but they do mean something as much as we hate yeah. it material items are important in this life and if you can have things that mean a lot to you and you find fun then I think that's yeah. really helpful. The idea of like, if you want something, you're like working towards it, like setting a goal for yourself. And then when you achieve it, you'll feel good about yourself. And so you will continue to do that. And it's like a cycle of like meeting your own needs and like granting yourself what you desire. And I think that's like an important thing to do. Like if you want something, you shouldn't repress that. Mm. Um, There's so much value in treating yourself. Yeah. Also your self love shouldn't rely on things like that. Like your self love needs to be so complete and so full that it's like, it's not conditional based on any people, any objects, like anything outside of yourself, any external validation, like your self love needs to come from within and be unconditional in that way. I think an amazing way to increase happiness is to create constants in your life that you can almost rely on a little bit. And maybe it's best to like steer away from people and sort of Think about constants in your routine. There's so much to be found within like routines and rituals that's like setting yourself up for the day, ending your day in that way, whether it's like full moon, new moon ritual, like somewhere where you can, like some point in the day where you can really focus on yourself. And I think like definitely the morning is the most key time for setting up the rest of your day. If you start your morning off good, then you will have a good rest of your day. And like, so do things that you love in the morning. So whenever I used to get out of bed, I used to go straight on my phone. That instantly put me in a lack mindset. But now I get up straight away, I do yoga, I eat a breakfast that I love and I used to like often skip breakfast because I didn't like it but now my routine is tailored so that however I start my day I know that my day will carry on really well because I've started it out so well. A huge thing that contributes to happiness and positivity is social media and how much you use it and the way in which you use it and the first thing to say is if anyone doesn't inspire you or educate you on social media, I think they need to be unfollowed, like right now. I maybe saw social media as more negative in the past because when I was younger, I would probably scroll through and think like, oh, I'm not as pretty as this person, all this stuff. And now I see it as such a positive tool, which I know is not the same for everyone, but personally for me, I love it. And it's because I'm following people that just I love and every time I see their content I'm like wow like stunning work yeah. and they actually talk about things that matter in the world but also I like love people that just post about like fashion and makeup and stuff I'm so into that and I think it's just about 
like really listening to yourself like when you're scrolling through like who is making you feel not so good about yourself mm -hmm. and you don't need a reason to unfollow people even if it's someone you know or someone you should follow just unfollow them for your own peace of mind because you need to put yourself first if social media is becoming like overwhelming for you at any point and you will truly know if it is or not like whether you want to come off social media or not you know whether you need a break from it and so i had to literally force myself to come off of it for a month and it was literally the best thing i've ever done and i'm going to do it again because like some it's no matter how many amazing people you follow on there, no matter how much you really enjoy going on it, and if it is a positive place for you, it is so stimulating and so overwhelming sometimes. Like, we all are obsessed with our phones, we are addicted to it. Now I've had my social media break, I know the ways in which I'm addicted, but I still fall victim to those ways, even though I know that I shouldn't be going on my phone this much, I shouldn't be on Instagram this much, etc. Like, I can still do it. And so I think it's really important to kind of like, just give your mind a break from all of that just even if that's for two weeks one week a few days like even if that's on the weekdays you don't go on it and then the weekends you do like i still think that's a lot more healthy for you because phones are so stimulating and i found that when i went on my social media break that i was thinking of my phone a lot even though i wasn't on it and this was like weeks after like this was like two weeks into my social media cleanse and like i would still be thinking about like instagram and mm -hmm. it's like i'm actually like addicted yeah like, we all I are I, I admit i'm addicted to my phone yeah. like I would feel strange if I didn't have my phone every yeah. day. And like, if I forgot my phone when I go out, I'm like, oh my God, I forgot my phone. Like I have to go back. Yeah. But it's like, what? Like, am I okay? Am yeah. I okay? But yeah, I think it's just about recognizing that. And it doesn't mean you need to like throw your phone away for the rest yeah. of your life. It just means you need to be more conscious of the ways that you're using social media and going on technology because coming off of it can be so amazing for your mental health. Mm. We have so many influencers that we love and find so inspiring so I'll put them on the screen now and link them down below so that you can follow them and all of these are either to do with spirituality, positivity, body confidence, um, quotes and just like amazing life philosophies that I think are just like you need to realise. Yeah. And it's really made a difference to our lives. Yeah. Like, I enjoy going on social media to look at these people. Mm. So like, I honestly think I wouldn't be the person I am today without these positive influences. Mm. The next tip is to practice gratitude. So for literally everything in your life, like, even if you think life is shit, like, you have stuff to be grateful for. Like, there is no excuse. Like, the fact you get to wake up in the morning is a miracle. The fact that you you get to have access to food that nourishes your body and that you love like that is a blessing the fact that you get to move your body around in any way that you want you can dress the way you want etc and even if you have the means to watch this video you are very blessed yeah. like to have a device to watch it on and there's a good chance that you have like a roof over your head and food to eat and stuff which is just you just have to be grateful for the little things yeah. and i think when you are thankful it's when you attract more things mm -hmm. into your life and attract more happiness because you're realizing the thing the good things in your life and focusing on the good rather than focusing on the bad if you get into a mindset of lack then you will you can easily see everything in your life as not enough or like you will compare it to another person who is on a completely different journey to you regardless of how similar that may seem to be like you are completely different to everyone around you and you're on your own individual path and so you can't compare and you can't also feel like what you have isn't enough because it will never be enough like if you set yourself a goal or a condition on which your happiness depends once you achieve that you'll just find something else that you want to get to yeah. it's the same with like things to do with like changing your body it's like once you get to this certain goal weight or something you're always going to want more so mm -hmm. you just have to love yourself and find happiness in what you have right now yeah because you only exist right now like what you have right now is all you have and it's all you'll ever have in the now and so 
you can't be like, oh yeah, when I get this, when I achieve this, when I do this, because you will never reach that point. Like you need to find gratitude for where you are right now and you will attract so much goodness into your life when you start practicing gratitude for what you already have. Because the universe sees that as a sign where you're like, I'm grateful. So the universe is like, I'm gonna bless you with more things to be grateful mm. for, do you know what I yeah. mean? And you will only find that like, there's so much more abundance in your life when you are grateful for what you already have. The next point is about evaluating who is in your life and how they are making you feel, similar to the people you follow on Instagram. But think about the people you see on an everyday basis or the people you're choosing to keep in your life and think, are these people serving me? Are these people supporting me, surrounding me with happiness? Are they hyping you up? Are they valuable in your life right now? And if the answer is no to any of those questions, you should reconsider like, like why? why they're in your life. And if it is someone that's making you feel shit, like get them out. <laughs> Cut them out. Cut them out of your life. Yeah. Because you deserve the absolute best. And so if people don't treat you like your best self or don't give you room to grow into your best self, what are they doing in your life? Like, mm. you actually deserve to be surrounded by the most magical people. And if you can't find any of those people, be one. And you will intimidate people who you come across. Like, people won't want to be around you because it makes them feel uncomfortable with who they are and what they haven't gone within and searched for. But there is so much magic within each and every one of you. So you deserve to surround yourself with that magic. And when, when you are that light, you will attract that as well and so you will automatically find people who you connect with in whatever way that you want to. And don't be afraid to say that you don't want to be friends with someone yeah. anymore or that you need distance from someone because I think especially in school if you're not friends with someone anymore people are like oh like it's yeah. such a big deal and like everyone's had a fallout and people are being bitchy but it's just about knowing what serves you and if that person is not perfect for you, you don't need to have them in your life. You don't need an excuse to not be friends with them anymore. Mm -hmm. And I've always had this mindset and I've not been friends with people that are not good enough for me. Like, I have amazing people in my life right now and I wouldn't have that if I just like settled for anyone. Mm -hmm. People can only meet you at their level of consciousness and so don't worry if people aren't like matching your level of consciousness if you're on different wavelengths because that's so normal, that's so natural. But it's okay to just distance yourself from them. It's okay to just like float away because you don't, you don't need them in your life. Like if they don't stimulate your mind, if they don't make you excited about life, if they don't hype you the fuck up like you deserve, then they don't, they don't they're, they're not place. necessary. Yeah. And also this is the perfect time to cut people out like during Corona and just be like, yeah. I cannot meet up with you. It's <laughs> you know so, I mean? so easy. Like, and the last point is about nourishing your body and treating your body like a temple. So eating foods that are good for you. And this doesn't necessarily mean you need to be healthy all the time. Like you should listen to your desires and we eat loads of chocolate, but also we eat really healthy meals and that is an amazing balance for us. Mm. But I think it's so important to have foods that make your body feel really good and and not restrict and make sure you're eating three meals a day yeah like you will know what makes your body feel energized what makes your body feel good and like personally for me that's like eating plant-based so I'm I know like what's going into my food so it's all whole foods foods from the earth foods that are like really gonna nourish my body but also that are good for the environment and the world as well like the world, like Gaia is giving me food, so I'm gonna treat her right, you know? Mm. Make sure whatever you're going through that you are giving yourself three meals a day because when you don't grant yourself that, like your basic needs, you are saying to yourself that you don't deserve that food and that you're not worthy, but you are more than worthy and you, your body will feel so energized and grateful for you for fueling it. And you need that to carry on, if you know mm. what I mean? like. Food is such a healer and when you don't grant yourself that, that's when things start to deteriorate in your body as well as your mind. Mm. We often forget how linked our mind and our body is and especially to do with food and exercise. And I think food and exercise definitely has an impact on mental health. So if you can at least get some movement in your body, it doesn't have to be like hard exercise, like mm -hmm. yoga is amazing. and 
then like eat properly I think that really makes a difference to mental health and I know that when I've eaten the best that has been like the happiest times of my life yeah so that's all the tips we have for you guys I really hope you enjoyed this video and got something from it like I said there'll be more resources in the description as well as positive people you should follow on Instagram and thank you so much for being on my channel thank you for having me my love no worries and I'll have Lucy's channel linked down below and yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Bye. Aw, cute. Mm -hmm.